Hello and welcome back with me. I'm joining me back on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. So I've been asked to do this update video by a few people. Um, one in particular left a comment about it and then some left some uh, Discord messages about it as well. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a little quick update for my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes account. And um, yeah, we'll show you where we're at, show you what we're pushing towards. And um, hopefully you can follow along or alternatively you can, uh, you know, Pick your own destiny as it turns. So let's um, let's dive straight into the characters and see where we are at. So we've got a few characters at the top here, which are obviously in our um, favorites. So we're currently working. Um, well, we're, technically we're not, but we're currently are in our favorites, our main characters that we're working towards eventually, and that is uh, getting Jedi Knight Revan up to Relic Five, Darth Revan to get him up to Relic Five as well, and. Jedi Knight Anakin, who also needs to go to Relic 5. Initially, he does eventually need to go to Relic 7, I believe, but we'll get him up to Relic 5 initially. Uh, because again, he is also a uh, he also is good with fleet uh, because he has his obviously his own ship. Uh, we're working towards Wickets and Cheap Chirpa just so that we can get them seven starred, so that we can get C3PO unlocked and get him into our CLS team. And then we're working towards Shakti. Because eventually we will obviously try our best to get a clones team as we already have the other four clones ready to go. The 501st, we already have them ready to go. We just need a leader. So Shakti is going to be our leader and we are going to put obviously 7 star into her as soon as possible. She's already level 85 as you can see. We just need to gear her up but at the moment we are currently holding our gear back. Um, and I will show you why in just a second. Uh, we're still working towards Nihilus, it's taking quite a while. And then we got Admiral Piet because we are starting to work towards a few of our Imperial Trooper teams as well, uh, as Imperial Troopers are incredibly powerful uh, in this game. And we are, we've are we decided to go for Sif Eternal Emperor as our second GL. Uh, obviously, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is our first GL. And we're still working towards him, and I'll show you our progress for that in just a second. Uh, we've got a few others that we're working sort of passively towards, not really working towards, but they are sort of in our favourites just to keep us reminded. But yeah, let's go to our, our main event, and that is this one. So we're working towards Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. So we've managed to finally, and this was, uh, I believe, yesterday, or no, Sunday, sorry. So two days ago, we finally got Emperor Palpatine up to Relic 7, which is, I now have all the requirements needed to, for the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren event, including the ship that we need, which is the finalizer. Uh, we, we got the finalizer up to five star also, uh, which is obviously quite handy. So we finally have everything unlocked for the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren event. And uh, we are working towards his event as we speak. As you can see, we have 40 shards so far collected. Uh, the hardest part is just getting the energy needed. Uh, so if we go on the event, I will show you what I mean. So you need to collect this energy from any dark side node. So the energy, uh, we are collecting that and we are collecting it obviously. It's quite slow to, to get, if I'm honest. Uh, and then, yeah, we're halfway through the first tier um, as it takes eight. You need to hit, do this eight times um, and it's 15, obviously, per round. So we're halfway through that, obviously getting us 40 shards overall. And then you've got to hit the second round four times, which costs 30. So it's 120 uh, for that one, 120 for the first one, 120 for the second one. And then you get 25 shards per every per time you hit. So that's, um, again, so that's 80 shards for the first one. And then you get 100 shards for the second one. Uh, and then for the third, you need to hit that twice. Uh, I believe it's twice, or maybe three times. So it's like, got to hit it three times, sorry. So you got to hit this one three times as well. And I believe this costs about 70. Uh, I think it's about 70. We can't quite see it yet because we haven't done the second event, but I think it's about 70 and you've got to hit this three times. So that's 150. And then we should, in theory, have him unlocked at that point. And then we just got to level him up to then go towards this. And obviously you'll get his picture or his, his portrait. And then after that, we just got to then work towards his ultimate ability, which we probably won't be able to do initially uh, as we need to get him into obviously high relics. Uh, to be able to do this we can passively maybe work towards it once we then get him into relic probably ideally we want to get him to relic seven 
So what have we been doing in the meantime? We've been holding everything, absolutely everything up to unlock uh, Supreme Leader Kylie Ren. So all of the gear that we've got, um, we've, we're now working towards obviously hoarding all this stuff back up again. We haven't started the, the smaller stuff yet. We're just working on energy. We need to get blue energy all the way up to, I believe, it needs to be 85. Um, so we need to get 85 of the blue. And then we need to get a fairly good chunk of green, which I believe is around about, I think it's about 100 or something. And then we need to get like a good about 160 of the first one. But the first one's not too hard to get. So we are passively working towards that whilst we're unlocking, obviously, SLKR himself. And then all this stuff here, we're not too worried about because it's not too difficult to get. Other than the Zimbiddle cards themselves, or Zimbiddle cards, as Zimbiddle cards require these. Um, so we will, but you only need 10 of them, So, but it does require a lot of these um, to obviously get overall. So that'll take quite a while just to build them up as we're working on other things for energy and stuff like that at the moment. But other than that, our roster looks pretty decent. We're currently sat at 2.4 million. Uh, overall uh, and obviously we've uh, we've got everyone pretty much the same place they were last time other than the fact that obviously crew kylo and el property and now relic seven everyone else is all at their basic generic levels that they should be to unlock the event uh, we obviously got darth revan as well not so long ago with obviously bastila shan and stuff like that so we worked on them a little bit to get them up as well and uh, other than that we haven't really progressed any other teams if i'm honest um, just because we've been working so hard to get um slkr up so our revan team's looking pretty decent it, it's not so bad we just need to get bastila up uh well mainly jolie we just need to get jolie bindu up uh quite substantially uh, if i'm honest and then um Bounty Hunters, we haven't really touched, other than the fact that we got Grief Cargo and we replaced Grief Cargo, or uh, Cad Bane with Grief Cargo. Our uh, Empire team looks pretty much like this. We haven't really worked on them whatsoever. We sort of interchange Royal Guard and uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Don't really, if we can sort of avoid putting them in, we will, but Mara Jane is always in because she is amazing with Palpatine. Uh, our, this is our current lineup for Darth Revan. Uh, pretty decent it's not so bad uh, we've got Darth Talon to increase Revan speed even more uh, and he will be pretty fast once we get some you know very good mods on him yeah at the moment he's got half decent but he's not incredibly fast and then we've got obviously the Geos down below um, and these are our defensive team well I wouldn't say defensive but these are sort of labeled what they are so we've got um, our obviously first order teams both of them out. Padme is kind of a defensive. We don't really use her for offense that often. Uh, and then we got our CLS lineup. Until we get C3PO, we have, we are using old Ben at the moment. And then you got obviously the Phoenix down below. Uh, future team layouts, as we've said, we are working towards getting our 501st Shakti clones, uh, getting them ready. We've leveled them all up to level 85, but putting no gear on them other than fives because he is obviously used for Padme at the moment. But we are going to get this team up as quick as we can. And now this is our SLKR team. Bad Batch is something we're going to work on in the future. But our next priority as well is going to be our Imperial Troopers. And we are going to try and get these up as they are now double drop rates for every single character. Uh, certainly Dark Trooper, the, the latest one. Um, so we're going to try and get these up as well. As Obviously, we're going to be working towards so uh, Sith Eternal Emperor for the next round anyway. So we may as well get these up as they are required for him also. We managed to get Darth Trey at 7 star as well. And this is our sort of random Qui-Gon team that we were going to progress. But they've sort of nerfed Qui-Gon's ability a little bit since then. Uh, but yeah, we've, we're working on a few different projects right now. But our main priority over the next coming weeks will be SLKR. And uh, trying to get him up to the highest level we can. Uh, other than that, that's where we're currently sat with characters. In terms of ships, we've unlocked a few new ships. We've got the Thai Echelon, which is new to the game. came out a couple of days ago. Uh, but we've managed to obviously do the same stuff as before. We finally got Anakin Starfighter to 7-star as well. Um, so we've got two pretty decent fleets at the moment. One being a Negotiator with uh, obviously the Galactic Republic. And then the other one being our Finalizer with our First Order and stuff like that. So we are... Doing pretty well as we only need one ship on defense at the moment. 
I'm hoping to stay there, but we might progress on a little, a little bit higher in the future. Uh, but we've also got Executrix if we do need to set another defense. That is a seven star. We just need to work on other ships to put with him because uh, at the moment we've not really got anything. Um, but we are working towards Imperial Tide Bomber as we need him again for the sea event. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little update and I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.